Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Evil Hummer ninety one here, and I am testing out a new, very new, very improvised stand for my microphone. Uh, this one doesn't involve the huge, huge collections of games, at least, and uh, it seems a little smoother. Uh, who am I kidding? It's a microphone strapped to a toy dinosaur Megazord. It's very bulky, but at the very least, I can keep my games in, on the shelves when I record, decide to record. But anyways, speaking of games, I'm discussing games. I currently have a very large pile of games I currently have that I'm interested in Let's Playing. Or possibly reviewing, whichever you guys would like to decide. But, first and foremost, XCOM news. I recently cancelled my XCOM Enemy Unknown Let's Play because Classic Iron Man was just too much for me to deal with. So, uh, if you guys want me to do the, go back to this one, give me some suggestions on how I could do it. I'm not doing it on Classic Iron Man, but I'll, I'm open up for other suggestions. Uh, just... Let me know if I get feedback for XCOM, I'll do XCOM. Right. I probably should actually put that back on the shelf or whatever. It's tossed on the other side of the room. Now, let's start with games that would be best suited for my current hardware. A Dazzle. Oh, wait, is this all of them? I'm pretty sure there were some more. Okay. These are the ones on hand, and I'll have to remember the others. Okay. First off. The original Ratchet & Clank from Insomniac Games. If you don't know what it is, it's a platformer starring a orange fox-like creature with a robot strapped to his back as a backpack that can be used as a helicopter. And it involves a lot of guns. The controls for it are okay for the platforming, but it's not very good with its weaponry. And the final boss gives me so much trouble. I've never managed to beat, beat this game. So, if I could record my first actual victory for it, that'd be nice. Next is Shadow of the Colossus. A pretty good game. Uh, it involves you climbing on top of giant monsters and stabbing them in their weak points. And that's pretty much the basics of it. I can talk about more of it if I actually do the game. So, yeah. And I have Spider-Man 2. A, one of the first in what I what I believe to be the first in a subgenre I classify as the superhero sandbox or super powered sandbox cuz only a few of these guys are actually superheroes uh, wide open space where you get to play as Spider-Man and swing all over New York doing missions like GTA only without as much violence it's it's the movie tie-in to the second Sam Raimi movie. Right. Now then. Uh, let's see. What else here? Oh. I also have a HD collection. A right. Uh, on this thing, I also have Shadow of the Colossus. But I want to try Shadow of the Colossus on the regular edition, which I also own. Because I want to make some comparisons, because... I didn't enjoy Shadow of the Colossus on the HD version, but I also have HD Ico, which I have never played. I've never touched the Ico game, so I'm kind of interested. Right? Okay. Now, let's go on to games I have played that I have here. Ah, another superhero game. Batman Arkham Asylum. If you haven't played this, shame on you. It's a wonderful game. You play as Batman in Trapped on Arkham Asylum, and you have to unfoil the Joker's latest plan using a brilliant fighting system along with some great puzzle solving and stealth sections. Right, I also have the original prototype, a, another super-powered sandbox game. Excuse me. Edit. Right, the original prototype, Super Power Sandbox game. Uh, you play as Alex Mercer, a man with no memory, who has godlike abilities and can eat people 
to gain more powers and it's a very violent, very gory, very fun game. I have a Let's Play of it up already with no views. Well, some views, but most of them are from me. Okay. And I have Sonic Generations. Modern Sonic teams up with Classic Sonic to platform around in highlights of his 20 years of history. The 20th anniversary of Sonic. Okay. All right. DSX Human Revolution. I've got a Let's Play of it continuing, and I have some footage I need to work on. But if I know anyone is actually interested in it, I would have more motivation. More motivation to work on it. Okay. Um, you play as... Oh, gee, seven minutes already. This is going to be a while, isn't it? Okay. You play as... Adam Jensen, a man who's been in an extreme accident and giving and has had his body cyber augmented to give him cyber superpowers, and he has to uncover a very, very dark conspiracy involving the fate of humanity and its future human evolution. Right, now then, I have Alpha Protocol, the espionage RPG. I tried to do a Let's Play of it back when the only equipment I had was a very, very cheap, crappy ca hand camera. But I wouldn't mind trying it again because I got up to 40 parts. And with a little more experience, I think I could do this more efficiently. So just go ahead and... Um, it's a, uh, actually, it's a espionage RPG. You get to play as a super spy and uncover a it's a lot like dsx you uncover a big conspiracy going about and try to stop uh ent entire world destabilization right and another of the superhero sandbox genre super powered sandbox genre i gotta get that that genre to, that, mm -hmm. infamous for the, an exclusive for the PlayStation 3 and a counterpart to Prototype. You play as Cole MacArthur after in getting incredible lightning-based superpowers and have to work to save the devastated Empire City as either a superhero or a supervillain. That's your choice. Or my choice, because I would be the one playing it. But if you played it, it would be your choice. Did that sound conceited? I thought that sound conceited. And what the hell? Oh, jeez. A, a couple of my fresh purchases are down, buried under here. Okay, I got another PS2 title. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I haven't played this one yet. Just bought it for five bucks at Price Busters. Anyways, you play as Tony something or other. Tony Venicity, I think is what it say. I'm gonna go with Tony Venicity. Please feel out an annotation or something if I'm wrong. And it's a your usual GTA fair, only here it perfectly captures the feeling of the '80s, and it takes place in Vice City, a uh, based off of the city of Miami. And I don't think I've played a game that's ever taken place in Miami. And one of my favorite shows that was uh, that's that I used to keep in touch with, I haven't been able to keep in touch with it, uh, Burn Notice took place in Miami. And I live in Florida, so it'd be an interesting experience. Right. I also have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. My second Let's Play on this channel did not get a lot of experience on it. I've gotten pretty dang far on it. I'm on the uh, last third of the game. Mm. But if people would actually want to see it, I'd probably be more motivated. So, yeah, there's that. It's a RPG made by Bioware. You know, the guys who made Mass Effect only in a older Star Wars. Right. Speaking of Star Wars, Star Wars Republic Commando. I played this a lot when I was younger because it was rated T for teen and I was younger. Mm. I remember it being fun, funny, 
awesome. It's a first-person sh tactical shooter taking place in the prequel trilogy uh, Clone Wars, and you play as a as the leader of a squad of Republic commandos. A l big fan base for it. We've been they've been clamoring for a sequel for a while. Okay, back to the. Okay, let's get back to these games which I haven't played. I also have every Sly Cooper game. The Sly Cooper, The Thievius Raccoonus, Sly 2, Band of Thieves, Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, and Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. They're all uh, platformers which involve you playing as a anthropomorphic raccoon who steals stuff from criminals. A very wonderful franchise. And I haven't played the latest installment, Thieves in Time, so that one would be completely blind. Speaking of completely blind, Silent Hill Downpour. This would be my third survival horror, or a lot, as a lot of people would probably consider my first survival horror on this channel. And I have not touched this since I bought it, so I would have no idea what happens. So... A game would probably be a lot scarier, or a survival horror game would probably be a lot scarier if you didn't know how it was going to turn out. Alright. Mm -hmm. I've also got Rainbow Six Vegas. A tactical tactical shooter, from what I've been told. I haven't busted this one open since I bought it either. But I'd imagine it'd be pretty difficult. But I think I could maybe handle it. I thought the same about XCOM Classic, and we all know how that turned out. So yeah, there's that. And, let's see. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. I did a Let's Play of its predecessor, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Didn't care for it that much. But usually it's around the second game before a a great franchise really, really gets its heels dug in. So I'm willing to try. I'm certainly willing to try it. I'd love to try it blind and recorded for anyone to laugh at my failures. Right. Now I also have Infamous and Prototype Two. I've already discussed them. Uh, their. I've already discussed their predecessors a bit. These would also both be blind. All right, two more games and then we'll be finished. Okay. Grand Theft Auto 4 played the living shit out of this game. Wonderful, wonderful game. Had it for years, played it uh, quite a few times. I'd love to share my experience with it if Rockstar isn't anal about the footage, which I remember them being at one point, but... Mm. And then finally, the piece of resistance, Batman Arkham City. I have not, in the entire two uh, one or two years that this has been released, touched it. I have taken way too long, but I have the Game of the Year edition, which includes all the bonus content. So, I really want to try record this, but I also would like people to see me do it. So, leave your... this. Leave your suggestions in the comments about the games I currently have. Uh, give suggestions on how I should play them. Give suggestions about games that you would like to see me do. I want to make you guys happy. I want you guys to be entertained with this channel. So, feel free to sh share your thoughts about any of those games or any games I could do on this channel. That I, If it's not recent releases, Try to stay away from recent releases because I'd like to not have to spend 50 bucks or wait for Gamefly to luckily stumble upon one of them. Just leave your ideas in the comments and yeah, peace.